Things are going to change in March. We didn't just turn the calendar over, and I've got rain on the radar now, and there's more coming Wednesday, but I've got a lot of dry days on the 10 day. Today, the first day of March, also going to be our warmest day, probably for the next week and a half. 68 is where we topped out. We did that in the early morning hours, and then we were just below that the rest of the day. But as you can see, the cold front moving through right now is going to drop our temperatures and leave us cool, not really cold, but cool the rest of this week. And there is the front associated with this thin line of showers moving through. Winds might pick up a little bit and temperatures will drop after this moves through, but it's just cleared Sanford. It's moving through Harnett County, a little thin, quick shower for you guys in Smithfield and Johnston County, also out toward Wilson. So once this moves through, Bigger picture shows there's a little bit of light rain back toward the triad. Some of that will sneak in here tonight. But all in all, we've seen most of the rain that we're going to see with today's batch of wet weather. Now our temperatures, which again, most of us made it into the 60s at one point today, have started to fall already in the 50s up north. 58 here in Raleigh, still some 60s down in the Sand Hills. Obviously, these numbers are all going to drop as we head into tonight. And as I mentioned, the winds are going to pick up. Now, right now, our sustained winds are maybe 5 to 10 miles per hour. Rocky Mount a little more at 17. But look at which direction they're coming from. So triangle on north, they're kind of coming out of the northwest. Obviously, that's a cooler flow down in the Sand Hills, a little more westerly and southerly. So as winds change, our temperatures will start to drop. So clouds going to stick around pretty much through the night. It's only the next few hours through about 10 or 11 that we'll have some small rain chances. And our temperatures will go from the 50s tonight, the 40s overnight. And it's not going to feel like the second day of March tomorrow morning. It's going to be 35. So a cold morning tomorrow. That's because of the cold front pretty much moving through as we speak. As that happens, it'll push the warm air down to the south and opens up the door for some cool air. But we do have another batch of rain coming later this week. Let's talk about when that's going to show up. So here we are late tonight. Most of the rain has cleared, still some clouds. We put the maps into motion. We go through the day tomorrow. The morning time, we'll have some clouds. And then it's not going to be perfectly sunny tomorrow, but there will be some sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Then we get into late Tuesday night. Watch to the southwest. That's where our next batch of rain is going to come from. It's associated with an area of low pressure. Wednesday morning, most of us will have clouds. Most of us will be dry. But as we go throughout the day, some of that rain will push up. Now, this is associated with an area of low pressure. We'll have to track this kind of like we do a tropical system. So that low could shift up or down, and that'll shift where our rain is. And I'll be honest with you, this is not etched in stone. It very well could be farther to the south. So we'll have to watch the rain situation for Wednesday. Good news is, as that rain moves out Wednesday night, that's it for a long time. And I know whether you work outside in the yard or whether you're in construction, you've longed for those words, a prolonged dry spell. So no rain tomorrow, but it will be cooler. Then we've got a decent chance of rain Wednesday, and then that's it, really. Thursday, Friday, we're dry. There might be a sprinkle on Saturday, but check out that 10-day forecast. When's the last time that on the 10-day we've only had two rain chances? It's been a while. A long time coming, guys.